little bit of experience before we walk into this, okay? I've been a guild master and raid leader throughout this time. So I am also speaking from a raid leader perspective. I don't just have an overview of the healers or the DPS. I have an overview of the whole thing. Um, and when you're a raid leader, you plan these things out if you're a good one. You make spreadsheets and shit, you know? Um, and basically, you you probably remember which time bosses you spent the most time on. Like, fuck, we're gonna do this. And probably the whole guild felt it when you wiped. Wiped. And wiped. Some bosses. We, we yeah, we kind of have to go now. So it's we've already it spawns lot of randomly. Yeah. So. Okay. Here we go. I'll let you know <laughs> no, when to no, run in. No, no, no. <laughs> run in, run in, and run, run in, run in, run in, run in. Don't run back. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> and some bosses just fell over because it's easy. Now, relative to this. I am going to speak from an experience from back in the day through 2019 where what we personally struggled to, uh, like through the bosses, but also the perspective of like, because we were like semi-competitive, so I'm not going to have like an elitist mindset like, oh, easy, everything easy, oh, we're going to do tier list for all bosses in Wrath of the Lich King. Let's get going! The reason why we're doing Nax again, uh, we, whoa, button was down, whoa, 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 this is not only fans, hello, $15, please. Okay, so, the reason why we're doing another Wrath version of this is because Nax is different, to some degree, in Wrath than it was in Classic. The big difference is that there was certain different walls in, in Classic, which is not in Wrath, and in Wrath... You had, I mean, you had a death knight, first of all. There was just another class involved. I think you even had... Sh no, you did not have shaman. No, yeah, you did. You had Draenei shaman. Um, and for alliance, that is, and the horde had paladin. And uh, just there was so much more abilities to use and all of that sort of stuff. So, yeah. I mean, divine sacrifice. Like, hello, or a mastery, hello. Anywho, we are going to start off with the Spuder quarter. Anubicon. And this is just basing off of memory, like I'm going back like a year ago. I mean, I, two years ago, right? I got two years ago. Um, <clears throat> I know that I can, uh, getting the D. The one thing that I remember was you moved in, and the only thing you could really wipe for is um, the Locust Swarm. And then you're like, oh shit, right, it silences, and fuck, I need to move out of that. Okay, do again. And then you kill the boss. It's, uh, yeah. Or the tank didn't get the aspect of the pack, or didn't have a swiftness potion, so you couldn't run quick enough. But other than that, I mean, rocket boots. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fairly enough. Now, in, in the beginning of of uh, like what most guilds did, they still went with the whole tactics of just having a couple tanks, uh, taking one ad each or two ads each, and uh, that's what we did at least, and then kill them off one by one. Um, and then after a while, you just sug through it. Uh, d again, D. Maxna. Um, here you had Death Knight tanks. You also had uh, Paladins that could use some really nice cooldowns when it comes to Maxna's Bite, where it stuns the whole raid. It, it wasn't at all um, as lethal. Again, you had more abilities to use. Back in Classic, you're like, okay, I can do Shield Wall and Pain Suppression, that's it. Um, but here, there's just so many more utilities. Uh, well, the, the Paladin could bubble. You, could, you had Pain Suppression, you had Hand of Salvation. You maybe had Hand of Salvation back in Classic Row as well. I just feel like it was just way easier to heal through and just carry on through. Uh, there's probably trinkets you could use to sort of help you out as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna make the same mistake as I did last time. This is Noth and this is Hagen. All right, uh, we're going into Plague Quarter. So, Noth, the only thing that could kill you, honestly, is if you didn't decurse. If you did that, you're good. This wasn't difficult at all. Hagen, the unclean, at this point, there's also a thing of like if you played classic well and then you went and played wrath the people remember the strategies right you might have not remembered it from back in 2006 or whatever it was but you probably remembered it a year ago or two years ago um hagen the unclean the dance wasn't at all as messy as it was back then um and yeah D. then we have let's see hagen and north hagen and then we have lothar lothar i mean sure the sport thing the mechanic you couldn't really heal through it all 
at the same time fair enough it was a little bit difficult but I, I believe that was the case at least um actually blanking a little bit on this but i don't remember lothar being uh difficult at all what i do remember is him dropping tier uh, i believe it was tier legs the middle i might be wrong uh because of the abilities in itself sure let's see uh it had some more abilities to go through yeah but the only thing you really remember from lothar or from lothar was like you know the dps taking your spore or someone just uh just you know killing the spore too early so they didn't get the dps uh the dps buff so the parsons went to shit like that's what i remember um let's see what else what else where are we going now we are gonna go with the yeah let's go military Resuvius, this is kind of a joke. Um, you had a pylum. Now control the pylum, so anyone could really control it. You didn't have to have a priest. A priest could also do it, I believe. Um, but yeah, it, it was just because of this, you could assign the person that was most capable of using it, and not the shadow priest or the priest for this matter. That you, you know, may, might not be the best person for it. Maybe the best person to actually do this was playing a warrior. But now we have to rely on this priest. And now we could just, anyone could really click. Um, which kind of defeated the purpose of the difficulty of the boss as well. Um, to some degree. So, D. Oh, no, actually even D. Um, Gothic. As long as you, as long as the living side didn't fuck that dead side. No. Four horsemen. Eh. Sure. Rotating the marks. That was still a thing. Um, but I remember, it. maybe you did this in Classic WoW also, but like in Wrath, you, you double stack them, right? uh and then you just you double stack them and put them in like two groups uh i think you even triple stack yeah you triple stacked them you went top left so if this is the room it's kind of a bad room if this is the entrance where the download button is right here yeah and there's a corner here and corner here and corner here and corner here you went to select side and blom side right so you went everyone here with three bosses and then one boss over here you killed two of the bosses, you switched, you, you killed that boss, and you went over and killed that boss. Let's see, I guess, just for the marks in itself, there, there was some strategy. You could technically wipe on if you were stupid. All right, um, patchwork, military quarter, and not a construct quarter. Uh, where to begin? Like, yeah, positioning, as soon as that uh, was fine, you, you, you were good. Um, yeah, and I don't think you even had, did you have, war? no, you didn't have war buffs. Yeah, so there's, yeah, I don't know. It had chunky tanks, that's it. If you did a speed run, you're like, oh shit, we need to like get this off clean. The, the positioning, I mean, sure, we could put it at C. C and D is kind of low tier, anyways. Grobulus, oh my god, do I even wanna. Sure, if you didn't run out of the group or you didn't get the spell, or if you got the spell quick enough, you could do some damage to the raid, but that's it. Oh, don't stand in front of the boss because then it spawns some blobs. Yeah, but then don't stand in front of the boss. When do you ever stand in front of the boss except if you're a tank? Um, Gluth, you had a paladin here, right? Holy Wrath, Consecration, um, Super Easy. Thaddeus, <laughs> is this gonna be a B tier? Uh, I mean, yeah, if you didn't do the plus and minus, it's still unforgiving. Let's put it at B because of that. Uh, people are stupid, man. Like, people, uh, But this is also when they... Maybe they did that as well in Classic World. But, like, the weak aura was definitely heavily used here. It's like plus and minus. And still people, people, people fucked it up. And then one guy could wipe the whole array by just... There like a bunch of plus people here. And there's a minus guy in there just damaging everyone. Yeah. Uh, Saffron. No, I, I mean, it rolled over. Really, honestly. Like, and Kalfas. Nah. Beats here. Like, yeah. The, the the most difficult bosses, we're not even gonna include anything in Nax because it was kind of ridiculous. Um yeah, Nax Wrath. There you go. So that was Nax Ramas. Kind of a joke. Kind of a joke. <laughs> uh what did you think about the tier list? Did you agree? Did you disagree? In the description, there is a little bit of a template there. So you can check it out yourself. Make your own one, post it in the Discord and go like, Hey, this is what my boss's boss experience was. Do you agree with the boss list? Do you disagree? Uh, and also, in the comments, what was the most difficult boss for your guild? <laughs>